What's up traders, I'm Kevin Hart and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install Pine Connector into MetaTrader 4 so that we can automate our trading view scripts. Now I've already done a video on MetaTrader 5, that is the platform I will be using personally to go through the rest of this series, but for those of you who have a broker that does not offer MetaTrader 5 or you prefer MetaTrader 4, I'm going to quickly show you how to set up Pine Connector for this platform. Now, if you want to know more information about Pine Connector, go and watch the MetaTrader 5 version, even though it shows you how to install Pine Connector on MetaTrader 5. I also go into a lot of information about what Pine Connector is and how it functions. And I'm going to skip all of that for this video to keep it really brief. I don't want to repeat myself unnecessarily. So if you're new to Pine Connector and you have no idea what it is, go and check that out. Uh, the MetaTrader 5 version of this instructional video. Now, before we continue, I need to mention that this is not trading advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is Risky stuff if you don't know what you're doing. If you're not a competent trader, I recommend you stay away from Pine Connector or at least spend a lot of time on the demo account before you even consider uh, live trading using this expert advisor. There is a lot that can go wrong. You can lose money very quickly if you don't know what you're doing. But in this video series on Pine Connector, I will walk you through each step uh, of the way. And for those of you who are comfortable with the risks involved in automated trading, we will automate a script by the end of this series. I can't promise it'll be profitable because it's an example script, uh, but I will show you guys how to set up a fully automated script through TradingView and Pine Connector so that you can execute trades on your broker while you sleep. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's continue with the instructions. Let's download the Windows version of MetaTrader 4 and let's install this onto my system. Next, and then click finish. We can close this tab. I need to select server 01, next existing trade account, paste in my um, MetaTrader account number. I'm going to change these account numbers. These are demo accounts anyway, uh, but if you're doing this yourself, don't give this number out uh, because people can try to screw around with your account. So click finish to log in. Hopefully this works. There we go. Incoming mail. There we go. We have logged in. And once again, we need to turn off these obnoxious sound effects. So I'm gonna go to tools, options, events and stop that click okay there we go all right so let's jump over to the pine connector instructions and download the metatrader 4 expert advisor for pine connector so here i am on my members portal the first thing i need to do is change my account number because i've already set this up on metatrader 5 so if i go to file uh, login copy this number and paste it in here now my license will work with this new MetaTrader account number. Now you need to use your own MetaTrader account number. This will not work with my number. It needs to be the one you've logged into your platform with. So now that I've done that, I need to download the MetaTrader 4 Expert Advisor. So I can open this folder up, right click this EX4 file, cut, open up MetaTrader, go to file, open data folder. Then we need to go into MQL4, Experts, and paste this file into here. Now I can open up my Expert Advisors tab down here, right click on this and click Refresh, and here is our Pine Connector Expert Advisor. But before we use this, we need to change a few settings. So we need to come up to Tools, Options, um, Expert Advisors, we need to click to allow automated trading, and we also need to allow these DLL imports. Now this allows expert advisors to do things like access the internet outside of the platform, which is required for uh, Pine Connector. If you're not comfortable with this, make sure to reach out to the Pine Connector support team to uh, discuss any apprehensions you have. But personally, I trust these guys. I've used them for a couple of years now, so I'm going to allow that. Click OK. And the final thing we need to do is make sure this is turned on. Make sure this is green. Um, now let's go through the instructions here. If I click EA Guide, Let's make sure I haven't missed anything. We click on MetaTrader 4. I've downloaded the EA. I've installed it into my data folder, into MQL4. I have allowed DLL imports. I have enabled auto trading. The final thing to do is attach the Pine Connector EA to my chart. So I can right click this and click attach to chart. Now I need to come to comment. Make sure allow live trading is turned on and allow DLL imports is turned on. As long as these two options are on, the Expert Advisor should be able to execute trades through our broker, through the MetaTrader platform. Now we need to come to Inputs. This is where we put in our license ID. Now there'll be a link in the video description. If you haven't used Pine Connector before, 
It's an affiliate link, so if you do sign up, I do get a small cut of your payment at no extra cost to you. So if you want to support the channel, that's one way to do it. But if you don't want to support the channel for whatever reason, uh, that's fine too. Just go to the Pine Connector website and sign up for a free trial. You get a seven-day free trial. Um, get your license ID from your uh, the main site dashboard. So if I go to Members Portal, scroll down and copy this number. I can paste that into here and click OK. And now, assuming I've done everything correctly, this should enable Pine Connector. There we go. We have successfully connected to Pine Connector's server. Everything is good to go. So let's jump back over to the instructions here. I've allowed live trading and DLL imports on the Expert Advisor Settings tab. I've inputted my license ID. We have successfully connected to the server. So our connection is good. Um, the final thing to do is send a test alert to make sure this is working correctly. So first we need to find a symbol. So if we go back to MetaTrader and I go file, uh, I'll view, where is it? Here, symbols. You can press control U on a Windows computer or just click symbols here. Uh, we go to FX majors. We need to make sure that the symbol we want to trade is enabled. So if we double click on these, you can see they turn gray. That means that trading is not enabled on these symbols and the expert advisor, Pi Connector, uh, will not be able to execute trades on these symbols if we send alerts to these symbols. So we need to enable all the markets we want to trade. Once these are enabled, we can click close. Now notice in my symbols list, we're going to send a test command to open a long trade on euro dollar. And my euro dollar symbol in this list has a suffix. So depending on the broker you are using, you may have a prefix or a suffix on the market you want to trade. In my case, I have a suffix, which is dot a full stop a. I need to send this entire string to Pine Connector in my alert if I want to open a trade on Euro Dollar. So let's do that now. Let's scroll down through the instructions. We have enabled Euro Dollar. We have gone over the suffix here. So the final thing to do is um, copy this line here. Go to Trading View. Let me delete the MetaTrader 5 test alert. Click Add Alert. Make sure that Euro Dollar is selected. Um, I went over this in the MetaTrader 5 version of this video, but it is ideal to use the same broker feed. You can see here, this says Pepperstone. That is the same broker I'm using on my MetaTrader platform. This is not necessary. You don't have to use the same um, data feed as long as you send the correct symbol, the correct symbol, oh my goodness, uh, Euro Dollar dot A. As long as I send this to the correct link with the correct license ID, it doesn't matter what market I trigger this alert on, the trade will go through to Pine Connector here. Uh, but it obviously does help to be using a data feed that is as close as possible to whatever your uh, MetaTrader platform is using. So in this case, I'm using EuroDollar on MetaTrader and uh, TradingView through Pepperstone, um, and the data feed is pretty close. So we shouldn't have too many issues with trades being executed at um, different prices on both platforms. So now I can paste in what I copied from the Pine Connector website. And now I need to replace my license ID and my symbol with the corresponding parameters to trigger an alert on Euro dollar. So to do that, I can come back to this page, copy my license ID, I'll paste that in here. Now this license ID again corresponds to your MetaTrader account number. So you can't use my license ID. Don't even bother trying. You need to create your own um, but there is a one week free trial for those of you who aren't ready to commit any money to this and you just wanna play around, make sure to sign up to the free trial. Um, go to your member dashboard, copy your license ID in here. Buy means we are going to buy at market. Risk equals one means with the default um, expert advisor settings, with the default settings here, uh, we will go over these settings in detail in future videos, but for now, using the default settings, sending a risk equals one command, will open one standard lot on the symbol we specify. And for the symbol, remember, we need to type out the, um, the market we want to trade and then the suffix, so dot A. Now I need to change my condition to greater than zero. And now this alert will trigger as soon as I create it and price moves, because obviously price will always be greater than zero unless the world has imploded and the euro is no more. Uh, but hopefully by the time you watch this video, that hasn't happened. Anyway, the next thing we need to do is come to notifications. Make sure webhook URL is turned on and this link is pasted in. 
you can get this link from the uh, instructions here. So you need to copy this URL, paste it into the webhook, turn the webhook on. All of these other settings do not matter. They're optional. If you want to be notified when your script executes a trade, then you might want to set these up when you create your alerts. But for today's test, we don't need to worry about that. Um, and it looks like we're good to go. I'll just change this to time connected test MT4. Now when I click create, this should trigger immediately and we should either get an error in the experts tab or a trade should be executed. There we go. It looks like our trade executed just fine. There we go. We have a trade opened. We have opened one standard lot on Euro dollar at market um, using an alert sent from TradingView. Amazing stuff. Now, if you get an error in this experts tab, uh, when you try to trigger this alert, if there's an error code here, like a number, then you need to come to pineconnector.com forward slash error. And then if you search for your error code, um, there should be a description on what the error means and rec and recommendations on how to rectify that error. Uh, but we didn't get an error. Luckily, uh, this works straight out of the box with the default settings. So I can wrap this video up here. And in future videos, we will go into more detail about the settings of this expert advisor. I'll be doing most of my um, personal examples on MetaTrader 5, but you guys should be able to follow along on MetaTrader 4 if you're using MetaTrader 4, because these settings are pretty much identical on both platforms. But with all that said, I'll wrap this video up here. I'll speak with you in the next one. Take care and good luck with your trading.